it's Jenna from scribblinggrace.com. Today I'm doing a vibe journaling with me video, um, what I'm calling a walkway to the beach or beach walkway or beach pathway. <laughs> um, I'm working on Proverbs 16 verse 9, which says, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. So with that verse, I knew I wanted to do some kind of pathway um, and I've already done one pathway tutorial before, and I kind of wanted to do something similar, but different at the same time. So this time I'm doing more of a beachy scene, um, and adding an ocean in the background. Um, so I picked out some colors from my Kiritake Gantt Camping watercolor set and I put a piece of printer paper underneath the page I'm working on. I'm using a small round paintbrush, super duper cheap paintbrush that I can't even see the brand name on, um, but I don't ever spend a lot of money, but um, I will put the links to all the supplies that I'm using in the blog post that goes along with this video at scribblinggrace.com slash beach walkway. Um, and I'll put that link in the description below. So head on over there to find all the supply links, other helpful tutorials, and I'll also find the names and numbers to the actual colors that I'm using um, from the set that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'll put those names and numbers um, in the blog post as well. So head on over there for sure. Um, so I'm starting off by doing kind of the base of my walkway here. So I start off with like a peachy beige color. And then I'm highlighting the walkway um, with a little yellow ochre and then um, kind of a reddish rust color to um, tone down the yellow a little bit. <laughs> and I'm trying to get somewhat of a sand color. And because I, my set has 48 colors, I don't really ever mix colors because there's so many colors to already choose from. This was one instance where I felt like I probably should have tried to mix a perfect sand color beforehand, but it's not really necessary. I just kind of added layers upon layers um, to get a, the color that I wanted. Um, so you can also see that for my little pathway here, um, it's just kind of a dull line. Um, I didn't want it to be like, because it's sand, I didn't want the pathway to be super duper striking, um, in the middle. I don't know if that makes any sense, but, um, I wanted it to kind of blend a little bit. So you can see that it does, uh, it is wider at the bottom and that it does get a little bit thinner at the top because, you know, from your visual, it gets, things get smaller in the distance. Um, and then I took my green color. This is olive green. And I started off by trying to do a little, some like little bushes. Um, and then I decided that I wanted more green on the sides of the pathway. So I just took a little bit of water and wet, um, went back over those little bushes that I did and used that to kind of color the sides, um, of that pathway. So that way I have a little bit more green, but you can still see little splotches of the more beigey sand color in the background as well. Um, and then I'm going to let that dry before I start adding details. So while that dries, I'm adding in my ocean in the background. And uh, it's kind of hard to describe my vision for this, but living and growing up in Southern California, uh, we went to the beach very often. And... I don't know, just walking to the beach, I always felt like that sometimes there were like hills that you had to get over um, or a walkway that you had to get to before you got to the beach. Um, so in my visual here, I'm thinking this is kind of like you're going up a hill and you can see the ocean in the background, but you can't see the actual beach, um, sand on the beach. You can just see like the walkway and then ocean. So um, I hope that that makes sense with this visual. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that as it comes together, um, that'll make more sense. And of course, uh, this is just to inspire you. So if you want to change this up, I really um, would encourage you to do so. But I really want you to try to give this one a shot if you want to. Um, I always love when you guys uh, do pages based off of my tutorials. It's so thrilling to me and exactly why I'm sharing these things. So I hope that inspires you. So I am, uh, I added that little ocean and then I'm going to add some sky, um, going over that walkway again to make it stand out a little bit more, get it how I want it. Um, 
And um, then I'm going to add some greenery and more details to make it really pop. Um, I feel like at this point, it's kind of that like ugly middle stage um, that I feel like most paintings go through where it just doesn't really look right it's a little bit awkward um, but then as it comes together it really makes a lot more sense so um, as you, you can see I'm adding my sky here while the ocean was still wet so some of that ocean um, the line from the ocean was kind of seeping into the sky so that's something to keep in mind you should let your sections dry before um, adding like let your ocean dry before adding the sky so that it doesn't blend together and you have that nice sharp horizon line um, but again, this is just Bible drilling. So just get the paint on the page. <laughs> Do it how you see fit. Um, and here I am. I'm just going to start adding some like greenery, some bushes, uh, some plants around that pathway up to the beach. Um, so I have some like bigger plants in the back towards the ocean because I wanted that to kind of give me the idea of, okay, there's somewhat of like a hill before the ocean. but. Uh, I don't even know if this vision super duper, my original vision totally came to life, um, but I feel like I got pretty close, especially for not really having a visual that I was looking at to do this. Um, so having a reference photo is another idea that you could do. Um, and I'm just taking my paintbrush to add my grass, greenery, plants, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'm just using the very tip of my paintbrush uh, using a pretty small amount of water, just enough that will transfer the paint onto the page easily um, so that my colors are pretty pigmented and they're not going to spread out when they touch the page. If you have a lot of water, you won't get as thin of lines. Um, and so I'm just using that tip of my paintbrush and just drawing uh, vertical lines, <laughs> um, kind of just messy, some large swipes, some small swipes. To give me the idea that there's some greenery and stuff on the floor around that pathway. I'm hoping, again, that watching this uh, will help you understand a little bit more than what I'm talking about because I feel like I'm not doing the best describing this at the moment. But <laughs> So I added a little bit of highlight to the pathway um, just to lighten the pathway up a little bit and help it blend a little bit better than it was. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of that red and the yellow ochre um, and add a little, like a few little dots here and there um, using that tip of my paintbrush still. Uh, just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Maybe it's some sticks or maybe it's some little flower buds popping out. Um, it just add a little bit of contrast and color, which I felt helped to finish off um, that portion of the walkway. So. Uh, and if I had lots of water or, um, sometimes the colors get a little bit too strong for my liking or something, I just pick it up with a little bit of, um, paper towel. Um, so that's always a tool that you need to have on hand. So, uh, adding a little bit extra blue, sharpening up that edge that I was talking about that got a little blended away with the sky, um, sharpening up that horizon line. And then I am using my craft heat gun to dry that. Um, the heat gun is nice because it dries the page super duper quickly and doesn't push a lot of air, um, which could move little water puddles around um, if you were to use like a hair dryer. But uh, yeah, craft heat gun is the bomb. <laughs> I let that dry. And then I'm going to add a little bit more detail to the sky because the bottom of the page has so much... Um, you know, detail and stuff going on. Um, I needed to add a little bit extra something to the sky. And then I'm also going to write out my verse in the sky as well. So again, the verse I'm working on is Proverbs 16, verse 9, which says, the heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Um, and to uh, add a little bit to that sky, I really just dabbed um, my blue color um, around to kind of create somewhat of a look of some like clouds and uh, just a little bit of imperfect sky. So letting those colors kind of blend a little bit, dab it up with the paper towel as I see fit. Um, it just kind of helped it look a little bit better than just a plain background. So uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go ahead and write out my verse. And uh, this time I'm keeping my lettering super duper simple. 
And I'm just going to write out my verse uh, using my normal messy cursive. Um, so no fancy calligraphy this time because the painting on this page is somewhat in-depth. I didn't want to uh, distract from that with fancy lettering. Um, so I'm just, you know, writing uh, just pretty quickly and normally and kind of messily um, this verse, which I actually wrote out the NLT version of uh, Proverbs 16.6 or 16.9, uh, which says, we can make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. So I'm just using my micron pen here. This is a size 03, I believe. So it's pretty small, um, small tip. And then I decided that I wanted it, the lettering to stand out a little bit more. Um, so I decided to go back over um, the lettering again after erasing the pencil. <laughs> um, uh, and just kind of, I even made it a little bit messier. I don't know if that was kind of just the look I was going for. It's kind of a little bit messy, a little whimsical, maybe. Um, and here I am. I'm also highlighting the verse I'm working on. And uh, that's going to be it for my page. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and be sure to check out the blog post at scribblinggrace.com slash beachwalkway. Um, for all the links to all the supplies that I used, as well as other helpful tutorials, and also the names and numbers to the colors um, of the watercolor set that I used. So um, you can also see there's no bleed through on the back side of the page, and I did not prep my page with gesso or anything beforehand. Um, the supplies I used don't bleed through. All right, I hope you have a really wonderful day. God bless.